find it. Skipping school to go to the market was perhaps ill-advised of Ivan's conscience, but he could not help himself and he could not wait. Like the madman, he had to know where the cube was, and if this could lead him to it, then perhaps it was worth seeking. After all, it had been six years, and this was only his, his only lead. No, he couldn't wait. After walking a while, he arrived at the market, still as vibrant, though perhaps less busy at this time of day than other times, as it was the first time he had arrived here, which was longer than just six years ago. He must have been eight when his father first took him here. He remembered quietly to himself, though he could not remember much of the experience. He did recall that he had fun. His father had, and he had always, and he, and he, his father he had, and he had always had fun together. And his mother, she was so caring, really. He appreciated those things, but for some reason, could not let go of the idea of finding his real parents. He didn't like to call them that in his head, but that's often what he found himself calling them. Though obviously they had been, not been around to see him grow up, still he had this urge to see them, and he could not quite give that up. Every time he had asked his parents, they had sort of avoided the question or admitted that they did not know who his real parents were. Even if they had, I haven't doubted that they would tell him. Or perhaps they were waiting until he turned of a certain age. He truly did not know. And he didn't want to wait, especially if waiting meant, which it probably mo most probably did, that he could, would never see them. Even if, he d even if it didn't mean that, it sure as hell felt like it to Ivan. And anyway, he was on a hot trail. At first, he just sort of scoured the marketplace, looking around outside for anything strange or out of place. It wasn't until he cast his eyes upon the men's clothing store that he felt something strange, and then he remembered. That was the store he had gone to the second time that he had come to the market with his father, which was meaningless, of course, except that they had been the d that had been the day that he had lost the cube. He would long thought of the cube, and the day that he lost it, and see he sometimes thought of Sarah, and how he'd met her that day as well, but he rarely thought of the clothing store, which he was now staring at directly. It seemed like a trivial detail, something to be forgotten, so he did, but now... Now it seemed more important, though Ivan had no real reason why. Even if he had gone there the day of the cube's disappearance, he couldn't imagine that it meant anything. It was just an awful aching feeling within him that told him that he should look into it anyway, that maybe there was something more to it. Was that what it was like to be... A crazy guy? He did not know, and he wanted to keep his questions brief and casual, and as casual as possible so as to avert attention. Though being a 16-year-old away from school probably drew in a lot of attention despite these precautions. Hesitating a moment, he drew in a breath and walked seamlessly into the store. When he entered, he noticed that it was less quaint than it used to be, or than he remembered it to be. It was made now in a more mass-produced sort of way if it could be described as such, and had a sleek, well-mannered well appeal to it that contrasted quite a lot with the old homey feeling that it used to give Ivan as a child. He wondered if someone else owned it, and he supposed that would be his first question to the young, attractive woman standing behind the counter. She had long, dark hair, and she was tall for a woman and wearing heels, making her just a few inches shorter than Ivan. Her dark eyes noticed him immediately, and in a chipper, over-the-top greeting, she called out to him. Welcome, she said. Thanks, said Ivan, trying to be casual. I, uh, he said, gesturing around. This place looks different. Different how, she asked. Ivan shrugged. I haven't been here in here for a while. It was a little different last time. Oh, said the woman. When was the last time you came in? Six years ago, but he shrugged again, looking away from her. Uh, is, this, is there a new owner? He felt awkward asking. The woman smiled politely still. I'm not sure I started working here a year ago. Six years is a long time. How old are you now? Of course she knew. A year was enough time to know whether or not there were, was a new manager or not. But then again, perhaps she didn't. Oh, I'm Ivan said, feeling embarrassed. I'm 19. Oh, I'm 19 as well, said the woman. Ivan was glad she hadn't caught the lie. It would have been too embarrassing to have been caught lying about his age, and he didn't want to be scolded or something because this woman seemed the type of woman to do that, despite her age, about being out of school when he shouldn't have been. He wondered if he could get her to tell him about the store a bit more, and then maybe he could bring up the madman, who Ivan suspected was actually quite as mad as it what wasn't actually quite as mad as what everyone thought. Do you like it here? he asked. She nodded. Pays the bills, I suppose. Ivan nodded. But I bet it's not always so good. 
What do you mean? She asked, a look of worry on her face. Ivan shrugged, walking towards her. I heard that a crazy guy was walking around the market the other day. Must have been scary. She nodded. There was, she said. Not long ago, actually. Did you read about that? In the paper, he nodded. I guess he was screaming about a cube or something. She nodded, placing a smile back firmly on her face. Yeah, I don't know what that was about. He was in here for a while, though. You were working when he was in here? Ivan acted surprised, and perhaps he actually was a little bit surprised. Yeah, she nodded. Did he have a cube on him? Ivan asked, though perhaps he should not have. Why would he? She asked. Ivan shook his head. That's what he was yelling about, right? And thought maybe he might have actually had it on him or something. No, he was empty-handed, she said, at least as far as I could tell. Ivan nodded. Hey, you want to go out sometime? He wasn't sure why he'd said it or how he'd gotten the courage to say it, but he'd said it, and rather quickly, too. The girl laughed a little. Very forward, she said. Oh, said Ivan, looking down and away. Sorry, I just, he shrugged. I don't know. She laughed again. What's your number? Ivan gave her his number, but at this point he was somewhat amb ambivalent about the situation. He wanted to know where the cube was, and this girl could not help him find it. I've got to go, uh, Ivan said somewhat carelessly. I'll text you, the girl said. My name is Miranda. Gotcha, Ivan nodded. He could feel his phone vibrate in his pocket, her text, no doubt. See you around. She only smiled, but said nothing else. Ivan left the store and made his way around the marketplace. He wandered here and there, pondering to himself, always thinking of the cube, constantly. It haunted his young dreams, and the, and the regret that he felt for having lost it was too much sometimes. He could not stand it, and he knew that he had to find the cube, that this was perhaps his only opportunity to have any chance of rediscovering that magical device, or whatever it was, if it were even real. Was he just in, as crazy as the man who come screaming about it before him? Did the cube have that effect? Did it make a man mad? Perhaps it did, but Ivan did not care. He would find it, somehow. And then, all of a sudden, he saw something flicker. Stupidly, he thought to himself that it must be the cube, but when he looked, it was just a laminated piece of paper lying there, like he was standing stupidly, dumbly staring at him, as if it, it had eyes, except that it didn't. Because of curiosity and because Ivan had no other leads going for him, he approached the laminated piece of paper. When he picked it up, he read it and it read, Magician Show. The date was the day of. Tonight. tonight. Ivan stared at it for a moment in disbelief. Was this fate? He would surely find out. Mm -hmm.